Welcome to On The Beat, everyone. I'm over here with Dr. James from Brooks Eye Centre. And I have to say, one of the things I love about doing these shows in all the places I get to go to is I meet the locals. And you've been in business for over 42 years here in Columbus. Yes. Amazing. Yes. How did you come about to be in Columbus? Well, I had a cousin that lived here, yes. so I used to visit him as a child, and yes. I just thought it was a beautiful place, and that's where I ended up. What do you love about Columbus? Uh, just the people, yeah. the trees, the, the, the terrain. Uh, I was from the Delta, so this is quite different than the Delta. And I have to say, when I come to town, it's just, everyone's very friendly. I have to say, it's probably one of the friendliest places I visit. Well, that's why we're known as the friendly city. Oh, is that what your, your yes. tagline? Oh, it's yeah. not. It is. I didn't know that. It is. Oh, there I go. Well, let's get into business, shall we? Okay. All right. Let's talk a little bit about why you decided to become an optometrist. Well, uh, when I was in the third grade, I went to have my eyes checked because mm. I couldn't see the blackboard and uh, got a pair of glasses, put the glasses on, and I was like, wow, I can see the leaves on the trees. So I was very amazed at what I was not seeing. And so that helped me very much to see. So as I went year to year to have my eyes examined, about the age of uh, 15 or so, I decided, you know, this is what I want to do. To that's help when you really see. wanted right. to, that's right. when you knew. Because right. nowadays, now you say that, I don't even know at 15 what I wanted to do, to be honest with you. So, and even um, the kids who are at high school now, they don't know what they want to do. Oh, they don't have a clue. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I wonder what it takes to become an optometrist. What's the background? Well, you have to have a four-year degree of undergraduate, and then you go on into optometry for another four years. So it's eight years total. Eight years? Yes. Like a GP's? Yes. Wow. Yes. I had no idea it was eight so years. long. Okay, now, you have a big staff. How many people you have there? Fifteen total. And incredible. Now, that's made up of people on the floor and also behind the scenes. Other doctors there as well? Uh, I have two associates and myself, so that makes three docs. Yeah. And then we have 12 uh, other people that help Amazing. technicians. Well, I have been told you've got one of the friendliest workplaces in the area. We do, and yeah. you should come see it. Uh, don't worry. You know I, I do need glasses myself, as I sort of told you the other day. That's why I'm like, what? Okay, so um, where do you feel the industry has changed over the last 42 years? Well, in the beginning, it was all about checking your eyes to see how well we could get you to see. Yeah. And we did a little bit of screening for, you know, the retina and such, but it mm. was very minor. But today, it's much more about the overall health of you as a human being. And so we have to go into the whole overall body uh, screening and see how you're functioning and then how that's affecting the eyes and try to help you sort all those things out so you can see the best. What are your strengths when it comes to your craft? What are your strengths? Well, I think uh, being able to see, have a vision of what's coming um, ahead of us instead yeah. of always looking back. But I always like to look forward and see what technology is out there that I can you know, put into my practice to help my patients see better. Going to the next step. Yes. Always out in front. Always. How often should someone come and have their eyes examined? Every year. Really? Every because, year? Yes, because things can really change. Okay. All right. Well, we appreciate you coming in. Sure. Looking forward to having more of an in-depth conversation about your business as well. Absolutely. After this short break, we are watching On The Beat, everyone. Brooks Eye Centre. Dr. James, been in practice over 42 years, everyone. Back after this short break.